G'day guys. Today is all about bidets and those douche washers, they, you know, little butt, butt washers that, that you can connect up to your taps and stuff. Now a lot of times I get calls um, say, look, I want one of those, uh, you know, bum washers put in my house. Can you can you come put it in? I've already bought it off Amazon or eBay or something like that. Um, and most of the time they've been to Thailand or J Japan or something like that where they've used these things and they're totally amazing. I've never used them personally, but apparently that's what I hear. They're, they're, they're pretty cool. So um, the thing is, in Australia, if you want to have that, there's a risk of a risk of you know cross contamination. So that shower, you know, that, that butt washer could end up in the toilet, and if there's a break in the street, it could suck the water back into the main, and that's what they don't want to happen, right? Same with bidets. If you're hooking up a bidet or or a washer, um, you need to put this big valve in. Now, over in America, they've got like this check valve that that you can put in, and you know, I, I don't know, probably the that's what the owner said. Well, what's the chance of like one of those check valves that you have in America? What's the chance of the water sucking back in this? Probably not much of a chance um, of it happening, but you know, you know what the government's like. Uh, you know, safety first. It doesn't matter about the cost, especially when the taxpayers are paying. So anyway, in in Australia, we have to put this RPZ, which is a reduced pressure zone device. So this has to be installed outside somewhere. So if there is backflow, it just comes out the vent here. There's no like through this. There's no chance of it ever sucking back. But if you've got a bidet or one of those bum washers, you have to have one of these installed. Okay. So this place got two toilets, I want them on both of them, like on two, two of these seat bidets. Um, they did come down here, they, they did have a um, hot water system down here. So you can see the old hot water system was set up here. So I was thinking, well, we, we've got the, the cold water we can hook onto and then go up in the roof, but you can have a look there and there's, um, there's a bunch of solar panels up there. So we'd have to get to the pipes and everything. So quite difficult. So the other toilet is here. So I was thinking maybe we'll just stick the valve here somewhere on the wall and um, we'll run the run the hot and uh, sorry the, the supply and return up into the roof and then hook onto the toilets in there now inside the toilets um, we're going to put some of those dual dual taps on so one tap will go to the system and the other one will go to the bum washer or the bidet so it'll be all sweet so that's what i do in the morning um, i'll show you as we go along today so a bit of roof work so that's why we're starting early just to get it all sorted okay. all right guys we are done so we've got the rpz in a reduced pressure zone device uh, you can see so We've tapped it up in the roof, uh, upstairs into the cold main. So this is the cold main comes down, got the isolation valve. We put barrel unions on there with a filter and then and then it goes in through there. This is so you can take it apart, you know, take it away. And this is the other side, you can shut it off. And so from then on it goes off and it goes to each one of the toilets because uh, they've got the bidets. Okay, and, and on each one of the toilets we've put one of those double griffos on there. So one main, one tap can go to the cistern the other one goes to the bidet. So if the bidet's ever leaking, they can shut it off. Or if the system's ever leaking, they can just shut it off independently before they give you a tea and all the rest of the stuff. So it's all safe now. There's no way of it siphoning back in or anything like that. Um, yeah, so both the toilets are, are done. Uh, we, have to, we put a new bidet on the on the back one and, and hooked all that up. The one at the back, uh, I think it was Kogan or something like that, quite a good brand, because uh, you know, like the, the plug had a um, like one of those safety switches on them and everything like that. So yeah, pretty, Worked pretty well, not that I tested it, but um, anyway, still yet to try them. I think it's a bit inappropriate to, you know, be the first one to try it. Someone's uh, new, new bidet that you can put in, so I won't be doing that. Um, but yeah, they love it. So if you've got a bidet or you're thinking about putting a bidet in, you've got to have one of these things. Part of the rule, safety first, and the cost doesn't matter when the taxpayers are, uh, are paying for it. That's what it is with the government. So um, yeah, if you're in Perth and you, you want one of these put in, call your local plumber or if you're around our area, like Welshpool, that sort of, you know, our south anyway, just give us a call and we'll, we might be able to come and help you out. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Catch ya.